friends, this is uh, Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and today my little gift to you um, is uh, basically uh, scrubbing your third eye with uh, Qi. Um, this is something you know I figured out uh, by myself. I did not get this from any guru. Actually I have been threatened by certain gurus not to reveal anything so uh, this is completely different and uh, coming from inner guidance. And uh, before we start, I asked that everything that happens in and from this session here and this instruction is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Amen. All right. So, as a yogi or as a mystic, uh, you generally uh, connect with the energies around you. Like nature is uh, very good, uh, maybe at the graveyard not so good, uh, or at the hospital, you know, a lot of suffering going on. And of course also not at the traffic intersection, uh, not so good. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you have a nice place where there is uh, uh, good chi or you know, peace and calm, and, and actually you can do this anywhere, even on a factory floor. And uh, so, but you want to connect with your Earth Mother, and for cleansing Earth, Earth energy is very good, it's strong, you know, it's tough, uh, it's thicker, so you, you know, uh, connect with your Earth Mother with love and a smile, and pull her love into your heart, and then on the exhale just send it into your brain. So you can kind of bring it up and then you know, expand it in your brain and you will get a Christian style kind of hub cup halo. <laughs> you know, and it feels uh, quite good. But that doesn't really scrub your third eye. And I have to say there are a lot of factors affecting your third eye, you know, in psychic warfare in past lifetimes. Uh, lots of things, you know, to cover up the third eye. You know, we're used to take somebody down, you know, for political or power reasons. Uh, so, uh, but to, to energize the third eye, you know, will help a lot. Uh, to remove all these obstacles in the long run will be a lot better. Uh, but first, with the simple stuff. So, um, one technique is to just scrub it. You know, as, as if, you know, your chi that you're bringing up is like a, a big uh, pipe cleaner. Or a big brush and to just you know scrub you know your the chi you know up and down you know your head so you know, for instance on the exhale you push up you know through the head on the inhale you know you push uh, down so and you can focus on the whole brain you know, or also just on the center, you know, the uh, connection. So, you know, brushing this way, you know, is one way, then it will increase in energy flow. Now, the other way is uh, brushing, you know, from left to right. And I would do this again through the center of the head, somewhere above your ears, uh, because that's kind of where the pineal gland and the corpus callosum is situated, uh, that connects, you know, the left and the right brain, you know, the bottleneck in our thinking. So, uh, if you want to, you know, scrub the snow, and of course the pineal gland is right in the middle and getting a lot of juice. So basically, uh, just imagine, uh, you know, you bring in a lot of love in here and uh, on the exhale, push it through the head out here. And then on the inhale, push it the other way. So just go back and forth, you know, through <laughs> through your brain. Floss your brain. Mental floss. Right? God, I do not do this while driving or operating heavy machinery, <laughs> you know. Uh, you're going to be uh, zoning out uh, like anything. Uh, so uh, the next uh, form of scrubbing, and that's the most obvious and 
most people have thought of it, and that's the traditional stuff, is you basically, you know, your third eye chakra is supposed to come in here as a cone and also go out there in the back as a cone. And, um, and in the back, this is where generally the sabotage is attaching itself. So, anyhow, uh, when you uh, just, uh, now this time, you know, we, let's say it's good to stand in front of the sun, mm -hmm. and uh, let's say the sun is over here. Here it is. I don't have to fake this. Uh, <laughs> and so on the inhale, <coughs> And uh, actually, when you do this standing, uh, keep your eyes half open. Otherwise, you lose your horizon, and uh, you know, when you space out, <laughs> and you may fall over. So I don't want to be responsible here for that. Right? So keep them slightly open. And so on the inhale, just you know, pull the this, this sunlight into you, you know, through you, and then on the exhale, send it all the way back. You know. This was 15, 20 seconds, and oh my god, my head is buzzing, and <laughs> you know, now you can just project this, uh, but be easy with this, you know, it's best to project love, <laughs> love, love, uh, not this here, you know, this is imposing little power, and uh, not so much appreciated. Uh, so, uh, my friends, uh, only do the scrubbing uh, <laughs> for a short while, uh, not for half an hour, this would be too much, uh, and um, just maybe uh, five minutes, probably one minute, you know, uh, each direction, that would be plenty, and drink lots of water. And, uh, well, if you like this and other stuff, uh, watch my videos, I have lots of guided meditation covering all kinds of uh, topics. Uh, so when you like one, you probably should do the other ones because uh, you know you, it's not that one size fits all. <laughs> uh, that doesn't work, and that's an oversimplification, I guess. Um, so subscribe, uh, you know, give comments, uh, stay in touch with the tribe. I do private session. I love you. Namaste. No,